All right, so this one it wants as a decimal. So we got 9 sixteenths. Uh, all I'm going to do on this one is long division. So I have 9 divided by 16. Now I, I could write on the, just on the right side of this thing multiples of 16, just so I have something to go off of. Because 16 isn't really something that we usually multiply by. So let's go ahead and make that list. All right, there's a nice little list. Uh, we'll see if we need to go any further than that. Now again, I make this list just so I can make long division pretty easy. If you can use a calculator, which you guys can, then it makes it a little bit easier. But if I didn't, which I don't, then I would be using this list. So 16 doesn't go into 9 at all. So I need another decimal, and we treat this as 90. How many times does 16 go into 90? It looks like I get 5 times. And 5 times 16 would be 80. So I'll subtract this and get a 10. Uh, 16 doesn't go into 10, so I need another decimal, which I'll drop and treat this as 100. How many times does 16 go into 100? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is the nice thing about that list, right? So now I'm going to subtract. 6 times 16 is 96. And I get 4. So I need another 0. Oh, man. Uh, well, 16 doesn't go in. Well, 16 will go into 40. I apologize. Looks like twice. 2 times 16. I need more space. There we go. 2 times 16 is 32, so when I subtract this out, I get 8. That should do it. So I need another 0 here to make that 80. Exact. <coughs> uh, so how many times does 16 go into 80? Well, looks like it goes into it 5 times. And this would give us a 0 remainder, <coughs> which means this is our answer right here.